So the other day, I was watching the 4K Blu-ray of Pulp Fiction on an OLED TV. If you've ever watched Pulp Fiction before, you may remember the iconic dance scene between John Travolta and Uma Thurman. Well, near the beginning of the chapter, there's this slow panning shot across the restaurant where the dance competition was held. And even for a purist like me, the slow pan was quite painful to watch. Not only was the motion choppy, the edges of objects also blurred and flickered like a faulty neon light, creating a jarring stroboscopic effect. To be honest, a mild stutter has always been inherent in 24 frames per second movies, but this phenomenon has become more obvious in recent years due to three reasons. 1. TV screens are getting larger and larger these days, so the 24p stutter would become more apparent, since slow panning shots have to travel across a greater distance on a larger screen. If you really think about it, this is the main reason why you almost never see this 24p stutter when watching movies on mobile phones. 2. Thanks to the advent of 4K HDR, TV resolution and brightness have been increasing steadily over the past few years, and as you can imagine, a brighter, high resolution picture would make the edges of objects clearer and more contrasty, therefore worsening the strobe effect whenever there's sufficient lateral displacement of objects on screen caused by horizontal camera movements. This is one of the reasons why so many HDR titles have been graded to conservatively dim luminance levels. Filmmakers were simply trying to avoid exacerbating the inevitable stutter and strobing during slow panning shots in 24p HDR movies. And 3. OLED's near instantaneous pixel response time does no favors to 24fps films at all, fully exposing the inherent 24p stutter, whereas the slower pixel response time on LED LCD TVs would ironically mask the phenomenon with the increased motion blur softening the stroboscopic effect. Some viewers who are particularly sensitive to 24p stutter often resort to engaging motion interpolation on their TVs to achieve smoother playback, but this can lead to the dreaded soap opera effect or SOE where the natural cinematic motion of films is replaced by a hyperreal, video game-like appearance. Now, what if your TV could intelligently vary the level of motion interpolation depending on the content? Imagine this. In static scenes, no interpolation is applied. For scenes with moderate movement, a subtle dose of smoothing is introduced, and for chaotic, jerky sequences, a stronger level of motion interpolation is deployed, all automatically without needing manual user intervention to maintain watchability without compromising cinematic intent. Well, this is where Dolby Vision 2 comes in. But hang on a minute, you ask. Isn't Dolby Vision just an HDR format? How on earth can it help with 24p motion? Okay, let me explain. Dolby Vision 2 is the next generation version of Dolby's advanced HDR format, building upon the foundation of the original Dolby Vision standard not only with improvements to HDR presentation on TVs, but also by offering new tools for content creators to embed rich, dynamic metadata into Dolby Vision 2 titles. The goal is to allow viewers to experience content exactly as the creator intended, more faithfully than ever, especially when watching on a Dolby Vision 2 capable television. Naturally, a large portion of this new metadata still focuses on HDR, refining tone mapping and adaptation in brighter viewing environments. But here's the exciting bit. Several Dolby Vision 2 features actually go beyond HDR, and in our opinion, the most compelling of these is something called authentic motion which lets filmmakers define exactly the motion quality that they want on a shot-by-shot -shot basis when grading the content. Dolby first demonstrated this feature at the IFA 2025 Consumer Electronics Trade Show in Berlin, but the media wasn't permitted to film any footage due to content copyright restrictions. So instead, I'm going to use a few alternative scenes under fair use, film here in my own test room, to help illustrate what authentic motion is all about. Let's take the slow panning shot from Pulp Fiction I showed at the start of this video as an example. Now imagine this from the content creator's point of view. They might review the scene and think, hmm, 
The 24p starter here is a bit too jarring. The stroboscopic effect is pulling attention away from the story. So with Dolby Vision 2, they could choose to apply just enough motion smoothing to reduce that starter, but without going overboard and introducing blatantly obvious soap opera effect. In the Dolby Vision 2 toolkit, content creators are now able to signal precisely how much interpolation should be applied to a particular shot. Let's say the scale runs from 0 to 10, with 0 representing the native 24p playback with no additional interpolation at all, and 10 being the maximum level of motion smoothing. So for that slow panning scene we showed earlier, the content creator might choose to apply a smoothing level of 4, just enough to reduce stutter while avoiding the artificial look of soap opera effect. That value is then embedded directly into the Dolby Vision 2 metadata stream. Now, let's say there's a mostly static shot, no real movement, no distracting judder. In that case, the content creator might signal a smoothing level of 0, keeping the scene fully untouched. Or in a shot with gentle motion, for instance a walking character or a drifting camera, they might apply a more subtle smoothing level of 2, striking a balance between cinematic motion and smoothness by dynamically signaling the required level of motion smoothing on a scene-by-scene -scene or even shot-by-shot -shot basis through embedded metadata. This approach offers a substantial upgrade over conventional TV-based motion interpolation. First, with Dolby Vision 2's authentic motion, any motion smoothing is guided and approved at the source, typically by the director or cinematographer, ensuring that the final result remains faithful to the original creative intent. Second, this motion metadata works hand-in-hand -hand with the frame interpolation system on compatible Dolby Vision 2 televisions to reduce distracting 24p stutter only when necessary, while preserving a cinematic look by allowing natural stutter in scenes where it's intended. This stands in stark contrast to traditional motion interpolation on most televisions, where a one-size-fits-all setting applies blanket smoothing to every frame of the film, regardless of the scene context, potentially leading to unwanted soap opera effect or other interpolation artifacts, where the motion feels artificial and disconnected from the filmmaker's vision. At this point, you may be wondering, what Dolby Vision 2 movies are currently available with authentic motion metadata? Well, here's the thing. Dolby has only just announced and introduced its Dolby Vision 2 framework, and it will take time for the toolkit to be rolled out and adopted by filmmakers who are keen to improve 24p motion quality for viewers. In other words, there is no need to rush out and buy a Dolby Vision 2 television just yet. But if you do, you can rest assured that you are future-proofing your setup to take advantage of this next-generation feature as compatible content begins to emerge. While we are on the topic of future-proofing, Zeskit, a leading HDMI cable manufacturer who has kindly sponsored this video, has launched its new Maya 96 series, which I believe to be the world's first HDMI 2.2 cables, offering a staggering 96 gigabits per second of bandwidth. That's double the 48 gigabits per second offered by HDMI 2.1, paving the way for support of resolutions up to 12K or even 16K. Of course, the irony is that there are currently no HDMI 2.2 source devices or displays available on the market, so I am unable to verify the full capabilities of these cables just yet. But once the necessary equipment becomes available, I'll be testing and reporting back on their real-world performance. That said, I've been using Zeskit's certified HDMI cables extensively in my in-depth TV reviews and side-by-side -side comparisons, and they have never let me down. Now, just as Zeskit's HDMI 2.2 cables prepare you for future resolutions, Dolby Vision 2 sets the stage for the next generation of HDR content, but it's worth noting that only a specific tier of Dolby Vision 2 TVs will support authentic motion. To find out what features to look for, and which TV brands are planning to support Dolby Vision 2, please watch my explanation video by clicking here.